six weeks after bushfires scorched this 30 square kilometre nature reserve in northern New South Wales, there are signs of life. Yes. And finally, photographic proof that the endangered spotted-tailed quoll survived the inferno. Oh, that's so good. Charitable Trust South Endeavour bought this land nine years ago to protect its 14 threatened animal species. Just about any, any wildlife you can think of loves the crevices. The Trust's Tim Hughes is trying to work out how many species are left. Ultrasonic recorders have picked up the call of bats. Researchers have spotted glossy black cockatoos, wombats and lyrebirds. What do you reckon this is, Mark? Oh, that's a kidna, Tim. But we're lucky enough here to catch a print. And some frogs and yabbies still live in the now parched peatlands. I saw it, one poking its head out yesterday. But with fewer places to hide, native animals are easy prey for feral cats, dogs and foxes. I put a camera trap out and the very, very first image I got was a feral cat. So doing something about feral animals is absolutely front and centre to what we have to do right now. Private land conservation is a key component of the lands that are protected throughout Australia. So they do need to get funding uh, you know, similarly to the national park system. Federal and state governments haven't ruled that out, but for now their focus remains on public reserves and national parks. And if we don't throw everything we've got at the problem now, then we won't actually have all the species that help make Australia Australia. Dominique Schwartz, ABC News, Byzance Lease, New South Wales.